good people from D Knox and Knox Photography and Grandside Media as well. Today I'm going to be bringing you a real quick tutorial on teeth whitening in Adobe's Lightroom. So, without any further ado, we're going to jump right into it. Alright, now, first thing you want to do is make sure you want to the develop tab up here to the right. And what you want to do is you want to go down <clears throat> and you want to go all the way over to the right and you want to select the uh, Excuse me, adjustment brush. And I believe you can also get to it by clicking Command K. But if not, you can always come right over. Last tool on the right, click on it. You click on it, drop down menu appears. And you got mass effect. We're going to go over here where you see effect. We're going to go to the right. And as soon as you get over there, you see T whitening. But sometimes your computer might not be selected. So you just drop down, you click on those arrows, and there's a drop down menu. Got a bunch of different options, dodge, iris and hand, skin, uh, soften skin, but we're gonna focus on teeth whitening right now. So we're gonna make sure teeth whitening is selected. And uh, we're gonna zoom in, I'm gonna hit command, I'm gonna hold on command, I'm gonna hit the plus key. I'm gonna zoom in and even a little farther, so I'm gonna hold on, keep, you know, I'm gonna keep it held, held down, I'm gonna hit it again. All right, and then if I hit the space bar, if I hold it down, while, while I got the two selected, I can, I can put, you know, move it and everything like that. So, <clears throat> real quick, to um to make this the tool bigger, you want to use the right bracket keys, and you know, and to decrease it, it's the left bracket key. That's something to keep in mind because you know you might have to get into some small areas. So, what you want to do is you want to click on it with your, the left side of your mouse, and you want to. Once you once you click, you want to click and hold, and you're just gonna follow the natural uh, pattern of the two. You feel me? And uh, so as you can see, we just gonna, we just did one, and um, compare. Even though her teeth, she has nice teeth. I mean, you can see it's a big difference. So I'm gonna try to speed through this now. So just keep in mind that this, I'm not trying to be perfect right now, but I want you to take your time because you can really get some nice results with it. And, then, and it's not it's not a process that's like really time consuming, but you can take five, ten minutes tops on on a pair, you know, on some teeth, and uh, you you know just to make them pop. And uh, you know, little stuff like this is what uh make people want to do business with you because your pictures stand out you know um, they got that pop as some may say so you know it's always good to have little tricks up your sleeve and this ain't this this not nothing too complex so you know no reason why you can't do this to some you know some of your pictures you got some good pictures you know come in there and clean them up And everything real quick you can also follow me at uh knox 313 on twitter and uh, you can check out my website my, some of my photography work at uh knox photography the number eight com go check it out i'm constantly updating it right now so but it's coming along real well i got some nice photos up there um if you got any comments or tips you know feel free to comment and subscribe to my page I really appreciate it. I'm going to be coming with a, a series of, of different videos, just some things of my knowledge, some things that I have training in, like uh, Photoshop, uh, InDesign, Illustrator, After Effects. Um, what's that other one? Uh, Final Cut. Different stuff, man. That You know, and that's not that I'm a, like a master at them, but I like to share stuff that I do know because, I mean, it's, it's good to share. Nothing wrong with sharing a little knowledge and, and, and teaching somebody something. So yeah, you know, you come out, we're gonna come out here to the bottom. And it's just the same thing. You know, we're gonna follow to we're not gonna get too elaborate with it. But we're just gonna follow the natural pattern of the two. And uh just cleaning it up real good. 
Uh, go over a couple spots, you know. Just, like I say, just take your time with it the first time, cause um, you know you want to get the feel of it and everything. And once you get the feel of it, man, you're gonna be off and running, cause uh, it ain't like I say, it's not that complicated. You know, so bam, it's pretty much done. Like I say, I was going through it real quick, but you can take your time and really get up in there and, and you know, really get it how you want it. Now, back over here to the right, you got some more settings for the uh, teeth whitening. You got the exposure, contrast, you got highlights, shadows, clarity, saturation. You can fool around with all of these things, man, and just play with them and, and see what you come up with. See, you might like something. So, but I'm done. For now, on this particular uh, subject, so I'm going to hit done right here, down here at the bottom, on the bottom right corner. I'm going to hit done, right? So I'm going to zoom out. Uh, command, I'm going to hold the command button down this time, and I'm going to hit minus key. Man, I'm going to hit it one more time, zoom out again. And as you can see, man, I mean, that makes a big difference compared to, you know, when we first started off. Now, this is. This young lady, 70 years young, she never smoked, she's in perfect health. Her, like I said, her teeth, she has pretty teeth, but you you can always enhance something. So this is just a little enhancement. Um, I think next I'm gonna do um, some photo retouching. You know, I think we're gonna get off into that with the next video. So um, like I said, if you liked the video, if you feel it was useful or insightful in any kind of way, Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe to my page. Thanks, man. Y'all have a blessed one. Peace.